Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in today's tutorial we're going to show you how to close an open submenu in the mobile menu in Divi when you click another submenu open. So instead of having multiple submenus open, each previous one will close when you click another one. Now this is a follow-up to our previous tutorial this one here, Collapse Mobile Menu Submenus, and this is a required prerequisite. So you would first need to have the code implemented for this one, which as you can see in this screenshot, it's making this really nice collapsible mobile menu. So think about it as like, if I'm going to click this uh, top menu item open, then this bottom one would close. So today's tutorial is actually kind of like a follow-up or like an additional, an add-on for that previous one, okay? So um, just make that clear. You will need to follow that other tutorial first and we have that linked here. So let's get into this. It's really, really simple. So like I said, we've already have the other one set up. In fact, let me show you how that looks. Right here, I am on just an example site so I can toggle this open, right? And then I can toggle that one open. And, and that's where, you know, if I had a lot of items here, um, that would not be ideal. So I can toggle that back close each one. So it's kind of like step one is completed. Let's move on to today's tutorial. And it's really simple. It's one step. It's copying this code right here. I can click copy. And then going over into the website where I have the other tutorial code and pasting it in. So what I'll do here is I'll enable the Divi Builder on this site, on this page, because I know I have the code in a code module on this page. Now for you, you may have the code in your theme options or in a child theme. So just go there, place it there. I recommend keeping it together. It would make more sense to keep it together. So for me to find my code module, I'll just go into wireframe mode here. And here it is. Here is that code right there, which is from this previous tutorial, okay? So I'll just keep it really simple and go down below the previous code and just paste right here like that. And that's it. So we're going to save. Now again, if you were in theme options or your child theme, you'll just have the two. Um, but I happen to have them in a code module here because it's just a demo site and it's fine if you need to do that too. So exit the builder here. Now when I go into the mobile view, open up the mobile menu. Now I'm going to open the first one. Okay, now I'm going to click the second one open, all right? Notice that the top one closed. That one's open. Now the top one closed. Now that one's open. Now the bottom one closed and this one's open. All right, so you can clearly see what's happening here. Almost like an accordion in a, in a way because like it's only one open at a time. Like, like remember in the Divi toggle module, you could have a bunch open but in the accordion module, you can only have one open. It's kind of doing that same effect, right? But with menu modules, all right? All right, there you go. That's it, that's the end of the tutorial. All right, and if you want a really simple way to do this, we do have this included in our Divi Responsive Helper plugin. So you really just go into the menu module or the default menu settings, like this in this screenshot, you can see in the menu module, we've added these settings. So one of them, collapse mobile menu submenus, and then collapse submenu when another is open. So it's literally that quick by turning on a toggle, and you can control that in the menu module or in the default menu. Um, so you can check that out. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial, especially if you want to improve the customer's user experience. I really think it does, uh, especially when you have uh, longer submenus, longer than what I showed you in my demo. But if you have a bunch of long ones, can be really a hassle especially thinking on mobile where they actually um, you know you can't scroll so if you have one open that's long and then you open another one it's over right so doing this is like it's really important it really is so highly recommend to put this into place um, give me a thumbs up and a comment and we'll see you all in our next video